And you are back on the Tortoise and Hare experience. And uh, yes, all day today, we've been playing music by Satellite Sky, which you can find at SatelliteSkyMusic.com. Uh, and finally, we have the band on. I How's know. It going? Yeah. It's going well. Good. For Thank us. you. Yeah. Uh, we always started off uh, with an experience. I went um, this last time. So go ahead and uh, share an experience, Max. Um, you know, everything's been crazy for me lately. Um, I have awesome news. I uh, just got the lead in a film uh, called Six Six Men Six Men Dead Six Men Dead, and uh, it's with Robert Downey Jr. and um, I play Willa Mercy. Okay. And it's a western zombie film. Zombies are in, apparently. There's they are very in, and I'm very disappointed that you know nothing about them. It's really, really disappointing to me. Uh, well, I know uh, more about uh, the band, Satellite Sky. I think that's more yeah. important. <laughs> well, it right? is. It is important. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Turtle, you know, he can care less about my career yeah <laughs> Thanks. it's just like how's that gonna affect the show are you, <laughs> well are you still gonna uh, record or yeah are you <laughs> right he's all worried she's gonna leave me yeah no i'm here can i could we go on set we absolutely show? Could go on set yeah sure that'd be cool i'm the lead i can work these things out <laughs> done right i absolutely. i wield a gun i feel like occasionally we look like zombies when we're <laughs> on tour <but> I, <laughs> I i doubt the two of you could look like zombies you're so gorgeous <laughs> you know? Yeah, so uh, welcome to America. <laughs> Thank you. Do, we, do we have the translator yeah. in? <laughs> <laughs> nice. How long have you been here? Uh, we've sort of been um, between here and Australia the last about four years now. So mm -hmm. it's kind of, we, were, we kept coming back over here and, and we were touring around and then we are going back home and touring around there and, and then we kind of realised that... Um, you know, we're getting a fair bit of love over here with regards to, you know, the uh, the music industry. So we sort of took the uh, plunge to just say, well, let's, let's head over and, you know, let's try and be here on a more permanent basis. And it's certainly easier for touring around uh, mm -hmm. states rather than having to jump mm -hmm. on a plane for 15 hours to, right. to get somewhere. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, and it's been good so far, yeah. And mm -hmm. LA is a pretty tough place to be, the blue sky, the weather. The yeah, weather. it just, it's just so terrible. Tough. It's terrible. <laughs> Chicks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> terrible. Oh. Do, do you have an experience? Because like, you do. didn't share. Um, I do have an experience. Uh, so last night, uh, I'm at the bar. And uh, do, do you guys drink? No, oh, oh really. never. <laughs> no. So, so when you're at the bar, you liars. Get, like the munchies and stuff. So um, I, I decided to try something, and that was uh, Snyder's um, peanuts, I guess. And um, these are pretzel, pretzel pieces. Pretzel peanuts. So, yeah, yeah, those are bad. Things. And uh, the the <laughs> one that I got was hot buffalo wing, and buffalo the wing. moment I ate it. I almost threw up. It was that gross. So I brought some. Oh, you guys, so, I got, oh great. You I brought to some up. for you On to camera. throw up. Right. Yeah. Do you, do, are, do you, do you guys want to try yeah, it? I'll, I'll I'm familiar with throwing up occasionally. But okay. Here, here. Because of do drinking. Oh, I, I have, there's no. That's not ever happening in Maybe my face. Maybe it's just my palate. You know what I mean? Um, what is it? Have, buffalo you have an educated palate. All right. I'm surprised that you would you would go for that in the so first place. You will eat anything. That's definitely a unique taste. Right? <laughs> wow. Nice face. Even drunk, I couldn't even eat it. I was just like, no. <laughs> That's about eight to ten beers. The taste, could probably do the a taste keeps of that. changing. Right? Yeah. It's so cool. weird. And what's it called? Nasty balls? What? Oh, yeah. It's the food that just keeps on giving, really. Oh, yeah. that's disgusting. We'll let you hang on to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Max, did you want to try it? No. Oh, my God. I'm, no. <laughs> First off, it's pretzel, so that's got gluten in it. And, um, and it just... No. No, I'm going to try it one more time. We ate what we <laughs> see, see, you're so messed up about it that you're actually going to eat the more. Kind of of I'm almost jealous because they're going to experience these horrible flavors, and I'm like, well, I want to experience Yeah, now you're not going to so be able to talk. the face I just pulled is what people mostly pull when they try Vegemite. <laughs> oh. I should have brought some Vegemite for you guys. I would You would probably like it. <laughs> is it like spam or something? No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like cooking stuck. Yeah, yeah I don't spread. know how you would describe <laughs> it. Oh. I, I heard of Vegemite. You're a fan? Mm, I love of, it. Um, it's good vitamin. Oh. 
men at work or men without hats? Uh, men, men at work. Men yeah. at work. Yeah. Like, like, you know, I made a Vegemite yeah. sandwich. Yeah. Oh, man. There's a new band named Men Without Hats. Men <laughs> <laughs> Without Hats or, or like, yeah, Speedos. Like, men men without, without Speedos. Hats, so I think we can roll with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you guys are changing. Yeah, side, side project. <laughs> and look, he's still eating them. I know. Right? He's just pounding these little it's things so into gross. his face right now. That's, that's disgusting. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's gross. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. Enter the dark no, side. No, I'll die. I'll die. You won't die. No, I will, because it's got gluten in it. She's not allowed it. She's got a lead roll coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. <laughs> no, it's just not good. It's not good. I, and as I was saying earlier, I went to Maui and came back a moose. So. <laughs> Now I have to work out all the are, time. Are you wearing fat pants? Um, I should be wearing fat <laughs> pants. I should be wearing like an ace bandage to just suck me in right now. Oh, that's like, cheating. Bleh. Yeah, no, it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. I don't know. This is like winter spread. Yeah. Um, I'm horrified. Yeah, yes, it was Thanksgiving. I ate a little bit. <laughs> I ate a lot. I had like three or four Thanksgivings. It Did was you? ridiculous. Yeah. So I'm, Oh, wow. And here's the thing. It's I a lot of techie. Yeah, I never thought I would um, get sick of alcohol, but like <laughs> I drank so much, ate so much, and, and I then you're at the bar last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, one day without alcohol, you know, <laughs> that, that, me up. Yeah. that serves purpose. It's done. Yeah, yeah it's out of your system. As well. Really? Yeah. I'll do the same today. Yeah, I, I just asked okay. uh, when you walked in mm. if you wanted, a, you know, some alcohol. You were just like, no. Well, like, and then no, I looked at the wine. Good. It was really nice quality, so I was like, ooh. Oh, I've got a gig on Thursday, so uh-huh. we have a gig on Thursday, so I've got to be good. Very uh, nice. And where is this gig at? Uh, we're actually doing the uh, Viper Room. That's up. right. I heard. And and it's gonna, you're doing some awesome little filming as well, right? Yeah, yeah. We're um, well. First and foremost, we're the the main reason is to um, launch, essentially launch, have a launch party for the EP. You know, mm-hmm. Leary Eye Crash, and which uh, officially went out on iTunes on the twenty fifth. Of, of November, so uh, we thought, you know, it's kind of coming towards the end of the year, and um, what better opportunity to get everyone together and just kind of celebrate this, you know, this mm. little piece of work that we've been, you know, right. putting a hell of a lot of our time and, and energy into over the last uh, several months. And if, if any of the listeners would like to come to the show, it's 8.30 at the Viper Room, feel, feel free to hit us up on our Facebook RSVP to the invite and we'll put you on our guest list. Very that nice. Sound? That is excellent. Yes, that is a very good offer. That is a very good offer. And so, for our listeners to properly introduce, we have Peter and Kim Kicks, and they are brother and sister. Correct. Which is really your last name. That sounds so stagey, you know what I mean? It's awesome. I want to marry into your family so I can be Max Kicks. That's got a nice ring. Wait, right? Max, right? Max are, like, are, are you the ultimate. Uh, I am, yes. Yeah, what do you think of Max? Would you do her? I think purely just so she can be called Max Kicks. Okay. So See? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> likes me around here. You had me at that. Max Kicks. So right? that's, that sounds great. I think so too. Done. I like it. So, so what do you think of uh, your new sister in law? Yeah. <laughs> hey, she's got the lady with Robert Downey Jr. Right? <laughs> 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 They're like, we just want to get on the soundtrack. <laughs> no, there you go. Yeah. Max, Max, you're going to have to do some finagling to yeah. get him on. I think so. I'll, I'll even cook for a gluten free. Oh. I'd just research and do Oh, that thank you so much. I'm an excellent cook as well. Oh. Well, I am. Oh, I had a cooking show um, oh, well. back in the day. And uh, but that's not proper to call it back in the day, because right, you know, when you uh, say back in the day, well, it's like, this is like prehistoric cool. times, right? Like. <laughs> Dinosaurs were still roaming the earth. <laughs> <laughs> my zombies were. Around. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, my my show is called Max's Seduction of the Palate: The Art of Sensual Cooking. So, I was before Spike's date cooking. You know, so I really told you how to get your date to Can like you. Find that in your. I believe you have, right. but you know, be, you know, be careful watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that with blinders or something. I don't okay. know. <laughs> anyway, uh, I saw that um, two DJs. One of them uh, I really love, Rodney Bingenheimer. Yep. Played your music as well as uh, Henry Rollins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love Henry Rollins. That's two very well respected names. Yeah. Tr- <laughs> well, now you can add bit. now you can add Turtle to to the mix because I played right. your music. And sister-in-law Max. Uh, well, maybe we'll see. Max You're gonna have to bang him first. And then <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm, I'm working for you, buddy. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the easiest interview I've ever had. He's getting laid and he's got a wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never come in. And, and she cooks. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, you're terrible. But but tell me uh, uh, about, you know, all this notoriety that you guys are, uh, is, that's coming to fruition. Um, I guess it, it's it's always nice to be recognized, you know, uh, certainly the industry, you know, highly respects, particularly those two DJs that, that you spoke of. Uh, I think people definitely take notice of the type of music they play. Uh, I know that Henry is very specific about what he spins on his show and what he likes. So for us, it was, was definitely uh, a, a nice little uh, little thing to see him uh, like number one, like the tunes, and then number two, like it enough to actually want to play it, and then you know give us a good little shout out about the release and and that sort of thing. So. Yeah, we just want to kind of build it from there and, and keep, uh, you know, hopefully more and more people take notice and then yep. more and more people play it like yourself who, who want to, uh, you know, promote it. That's great for us, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Rodney as well. He's legendary. I love you know, Rodney. He's, he, back in the day, you know, broke Bowie Oasis, all these. He's got amazing no taste in music. Oh, yeah. So. We're we like to think it, that know. we have amazing taste in music as well. well clearly, you yeah. do. Yeah. Clearly, <laughs> clearly, we do because you are on our couch. That is true. I used to manage a band from Australia called Juke Cartel. Oh, are you yeah. familiar with them? Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. they're now called Toby. London Cries. Yeah, Toby Rand. Oh, I didn't know they changed. They, the name. Yeah, they did change the name. I think they they had a mm. ordeal spat. with. Well, no, not a spat, but they. Uh, I believe they got out of their record deal. So, okay, right. Yeah. So um, that's what's happening yeah. with them. Oh. There's so, another Toby's out here as well. Yes, yeah. they're all out here. Yep. They're all Maybe we can here. get them on, Max. I mean, work, work um, some uh, finagling. Yeah. I'll what the hell? Call. I'll give them a call. Maybe they'll give me some money. Real quick, uh, it's summer for you guys. Uh, do you, are you guys dressing summery? Do you, or do you feel this My, is summer? You don't look like you're dressing. <laughs> is that really kangaroo? No. <laughs> I would have believed it. Like, People okay. believe it, though. And I get lots of hugs in it, so I'm happy. <laughs> but, um, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> uh, no, no, it, it, was, it was just that it, it's summer right now for you guys. Mm. And, and, unless oh, you guys are... Not, they're not there we're in here. the summer. It's always they're summer here. in LA. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, it was, <laughs> what, nine I'm degrees. freezing. Yeah, no, it, it's definitely... I think having spent more time in LA, you start to become acclimatized Whoa. to the, the weather. So I... Think that if it got any colder than this, we would start struggling. Holy <laughs> cow! Mm. So, so when you guys go back to uh, Australia, do they are they like, oh man, now you you're a Hollywood type, or you know, they Josh you or anything? Uh, normally, when we go back to Australia, we just end up going, you know, hanging out at the pubs and the bars and drink. You know, the one good thing, well, not the one, <laughs> one of the many good things about going back home is the great beer and the and, beaches and the beaches, obviously. So we we go back, we surf, hang out with our friends drink a lot of local beer because one thing I miss is the Australian beer because, you know, look, nothing wrong with the beer over right. here. Oh, but we do like Bud, Bud Light, right? Because oh. di didn't they have our music on oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Olympics <laughs> commercial? We so. love Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are they still paying you for that? Yeah, no, they're not. So <laughs> then you don't like so them. Theoretically, I don't need to endorse them in any way. That's shape true, or that's true. Uh, but uh, we liked them when they had that. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it like Foster's? Isn't that like an Australian beer? It, it's, it's it's Australian for beer. Well, no, it's but American no one, for yeah, Australian no one really beer. Drinks it oh, Australia, I see. So yeah, that's American of a for Australian beer. With regards to, I've never had a beer in my life, so I oh, oh, well. couldn't you, tell you. Uh, you're not, you know, um, not missing anything. Yeah, Foster's is not something that Australians drink generally. Uh, I think that was their marketing slogan, and obviously mm -hmm. it worked well because everyone's like, "Oh, you want a Foster's?" I'm like, "No, thank you." <laughs> no, I will no. Drink anything Else. I'm more of red, red wine. <laughs> except for the bud. Yeah, it's, well, yeah. As I said, if they want to keep using our music... I'll well, drink, drink it all day long, <laughs> but they have to send it. They want yeah. me to, yeah. You know, that should be written in the writer that, they, you know, they have to supply you with the beer. Yeah, absolutely. A year's supply. Of yeah. At least. Anything. At least. Yeah. At least. I, or, I agree. Or at least every two weeks, a 30-pack. A 30-pack. Yeah. Right. Sure. Do they make that? That's a, yeah, a 30 it's, pack? Yeah, it's called a cube. Yeah. <laughs> really? We, we call that a slab. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. that's cool. Well, a slab has 24 oh, in it. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, An extended slab. Because <laughs> it's a slab of beer. Wow. 
There you go. There's can you drink that much in one sitting? Oh, no. absolutely. Oh, you I can. can. Oh, no, not me personally. I can drink Oh, too. right. Yes. Now, see, now he's backtracking. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, can we do it in a sitting? Yes, but I don't think, uh, no, I would probably be well and truly on the floor, passed out after about. How many beers does it take to get you drunk? She's, Just she's for, doing her research yeah. now. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think my boyfriend like might have a problem with that. I, I, think, I think we'll have to find out. Uh, there's only one way to find out. Just start drinking. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. Yeah. All right. At, at the show. Yeah, yeah, at, at the, the show. Viper show. <laughs> Me and you will be drinking wine. They'll be drinking the Same. beer. Well, I'm not going to be drinking any beer, but you I, will be you know, but I might buy you one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there won't be any. Of that. I uh, recently <laughs> saw that you guys just met Jack Black. I did, yes. I, I did. That was quite fun. What was that? What, and how, how did that happen? And You've done your research. <laughs> did, you, did you pass him the CD? Or? No, no. But he, he asked when our next gig was, was but unfortunately awesome. I didn't have anything lined up at the time. But mm. um, That's when you say it's going to be at your house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. yeah when, when are you guys playing? We're opening for you. <laughs> exactly. See, next time, yeah. just use that line. Yeah. So, You've got to be prepared. No, he's a, a lovely right. man. I, swear, I wasn't complaining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, guys, we only have a few more minutes left with you guys because you guys are um, ex- an extremely busy band. You guys got a lot to do tonight. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about something that I found interesting, and I saw you guys post about this. And this was that um, uh, human livers are now uh, being made, right? From Human from, livers. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> what's happening is stem cells are now creating... You know, <laughs> from stem cells like livers right. and stuff like that. Oh. So I, I thought that was um, I, I didn't know how to feel about that, honestly, uh, because I feel that as humans we are surpassing, you know, life itself. Like well, you, you were know? probably excited because you drink so much, so you're like, right? Yes, I can get a new liver, really. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, was, it's was, appropriate for the conversation we just had. <laughs> exactly. I was like, we can get new livers and we can, drink Fosters, get a know, new liver. W- 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 within, I want to say, twenty years, maybe we can get new hands. Oh yeah. wow! You know, we can uh, probably bald. Being bald. I'm actually a clone of myself, so I'm not awesome. really here right now. <laughs> <I'm not here. laughs> Let's do it. No. Ooh, I was <laughs> <a> clone. <laughs> <laughs> As long as there's good red wine, we're yeah. good to go. Yeah, no. <laughs> rehearsal now, practicing, so we can do the interviews. So they're getting ready for the show on Thursday, so we're good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but about stem cells, are yeah. you guys very open about that? Do you, is, is this the future, do you guys believe? Well, I, I think we, I think we posted something a little while back about this yeah, this particular article on our, on our Twitter or something, but it was more just because, obviously, when we're on tour, we tend to drink a lot. And when you drink, obviously, your liver tends to be affected somewhat. So maybe it would be nice, in, in theory, to be able to replace your liver after a tour. Because right. when you get back, right. like your whole body's ready to shut down. But uh, And if science can help in that, then, you know, definitely, in all seriousness, I think there is definitely a place, you know, if it can help sick people, definitely. Uh, obviously, for people who are just silly enough to drink a lot on tour like well like i do uh maybe that's not what it should be used for okay <laughs> but having said that hey you never know what the future holds right so that's true yeah that research is true. That, was, that was interesting but, but, to feel question yeah well, i'm like, like where did you find that stem cell research <laughs> but yeah like, hitting issues anything that's yeah, good for pretty. helping people yeah but that's not harming anyone i'm all about so and clones. We definitely yeah. want clones of ourselves, so we can do this. Clones are good. We could probably, you know, have another... Well, then I can injure myself and actually get my clone to play this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Don't injure yourself. No, and if you do... I already <laughs> And if you do, come gone. see me. She had a texting injury. A texting injury? Yeah, you can't injury. text and walk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's not good. You can't Sober. text and do. <laughs> you can't text. Do it while you're drunk, but not while you're sick. Yeah, I believe Mark, didn't Mark Doty break his shoulder yeah. collarbone or something yeah, to no, texting and, and skateboarding? Wasn't that yeah. what he was doing? Texting yeah. has yeah. become such the issue, and you know, I always tell people it can wait. It really can. Wait. Like, are you? Do you? Do you really believe you're that important that your life is worth? You know hitting an okay or whatever <laughs> you know so when i drive I, I don't do texts or anything i just say hey when i get to my destination whether it's half an hour or an hour you know then then i could get to it but what sucks is when i park i'm in the parking lot for like 10 minutes just fielding right. texts fielding emails <laughs> That's you true. know well so. if, if there are any good uh physiotherapists or massage therapists out there 
come to our show, I'll put you on my guest list in exchange for a, a working on my arm. Now, here's the oh, thing. Oh, there you uh, go. Matt right here. does, uh, was you have it? have to marry uh, her. Reiki? <laughs> <laughs> it's just your yeah. right now. Right. <laughs> what is it, Reiki that you do? Reiki. I'm, well, I'm a uh, Reiki practitioner. Okay. Um, I do, do uh, deep tissue massage and uh, past life regression and crystal and light and uh, sound therapy and shell therapy and quantum balancing and uh, multi-dimensional um, quantum things. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. It's all. I'm, I'm open. To all of that. Do so, do um, and, and where, can, for, where yeah. can they go? They can. Uh, you can call my office, which is 310-888-7778 Integrative Wellness Center. And uh, if you say turtle and uh, just say turtle, that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I, I was gonna say Boston. that you know, <laughs> if say that turtles uh, tribe, um, you will get a. A ten percent discount. Um, Can these turtles, turtles tribe, or turtle power? Turtle power. Well, no, because I think that's already, uh, you know, copywritten. Oh shoot! Turtle tribe. Yeah, Done. I think it's a turtle tribe. <laughs> uh, yeah, turtle tribe. So yeah, so yeah. you yeah. know, come down. I have an office in Beverly Hills, and um, yeah, it's, it's legit. It's legit. <laughs> So you guys, uh, I hate to uh, cut and run, but I know you guys have very important things that you guys have to do. Uh, go to their website, satellitesky-music.com. There uh, you can um, connect with the band. Guys, thank you so much for coming yeah, on. Yeah, thank, thank you so and, much. And once again, yeah, we just, uh, you know, by all means, the, the new EP, Bleary Eyed oh, Version, yeah. is out now on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Obviously, there's links through our website as well, so we mm. implore you to go and buy it, download it, and yeah. um, also, you know, if you anyone, any listeners do want to come to our show, you know, the, the big launch party on uh, Thursday, the 5th of December. 8.30. 8.30. Hit us up, email us, tell us you you yeah. heard the interview, and we will put you on our guest. Yeah. Yeah. It's Turtle just Facebook, Turtle Facebook Turtle 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 forward slash Satellite Sky, yeah. Twitter, yeah. Satellite Sky. This is an exciting yeah. week for shows uh, in Hollywood. There's uh, Warner Drive is also at Viper Room, yeah, and uh, and Nine Electric's big uh, Mikey Lopez birthday party Ooh. over at, I believe, at the Roxy. and Yeah, so... Doesn't Brett... Doesn't he have a show coming up? He does. He does have a show. I know. I believe it's at Loaded or one of those um, places. I'll have to ask him when we put that up on the show, Brett Helens and the Nasty Souls. Um, Yeah, so an an exciting week in Hollywood. So anybody who's not in town, get back in town. Immediately. Get here. This is the place to be. (laughs) So, Max, it's now time to figure out uh, the name of the show. Mm Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, the one thing that comes into my mind uh, was um, it, it was speed. It was speed Be- because everybody, for some reason today, everybody had places to go and places yeah. to be at. Yeah, yeah. It seemed like everybody was rushing today. Yeah. I I've never done a shorter show in my life. Yeah, I think true. this is our shortest show ever. Our shortest show. Shorter show ever. <laughs> Filled yeah. with great music. Although the right. couch is pretty comfy. I'm like, it's yeah. comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's, 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 yeah. There's yeah. been many a night so what, 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 down what? here at NoHo Studio. Oh, yeah. we yes. got to thank Mark Doty. Yes. Thank you very much, Mark Doty. Thank you for, for letting us uh, use the space. Log on to NoHo2.com mm-hmm. uh, for more information on NoHo2 Studios and uh, the amenities that they offer. Right. What uh, word? comes to your mind big hair wow so let me see big i don't know if it's big hair or bad hair because you were saying that you had a bad hair day yeah and then marilyn was in a bad hair movie so and you say that i'm having bad hair but i never had bad hair because i had fabulous hair trying to think of the name uh can we can we call this show brush bad hair that makes no sense no it makes no sense i don't like that at all was that? <laughs> the perfect show. The perfect show. Yeah. Yeah. Rushing bad hair. Russian bad hair. Russian. <laughs> Russian. But R U S S I A. Okay. Russian bad hair. And H A R H A I. H A R E. Because you know I am the hair. Ah, in the Taurus and hair. Well, guys, uh, thank, thank you for you having so us. Much. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, thanks for playing the tunes as yeah. well. And thanks for uh, supporting and having us down. That's we are very happy to have you, and you're welcome to come back anytime. 
can visit us here at NoHo2. Yep. For more information, SatelliteSkyMusic.com. That's going to conclude another experience. Yeah. We want to say thank you very much to Denim Dan, our photographer, for his hard work. You can reach him um, and, uh, and set up an appointment with him. He does headshots and band shots and amazing photographer and videographer as well. Yes. And uh, we leave you now with the, the, the title track from the EP, Blurry-Eyed Fashion. <laughs>